Hey guys, Candace, remember the camera is there. <laughs> What's up guys? I'll give you guys a few minutes to get on. I just wanted to pop on, see how everybody's doing. Wondering if you guys have uh, already gone through your, your uh, Corona snacks. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> hey hi welcome to my live <clears throat> say what's up so i know who's on hey what's up beautiful people I hope everybody is staying positive. That is the most important thing right now is just positivity. Yesterday, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, go check me out. I post there a few times a week. Um, <clears throat> it's at Candy's Land. It's at Candy's Land on all platforms. So yesterday, I put up a post on Instagram and it was just about staying positive and remembering to get up and get dressed. Like I know a lot of us are working from home right now and that's great. And it's easy to fall into like a slump when you're working from home. Like you don't want to get dressed, you know, you start getting bored. But I think it's important that we continue to maintain the normal routine as much as possible. And that means getting up, getting dressed, making yourself feel good, maybe make your favorite meal, read a new book. Or like I was saying yesterday, it's a great time to learn a new skill. Maybe there's something that you've been wanting to do forever and just because of work or responsibilities you haven't had a chance to. Well, during the next couple of weeks where we have the time to spend at home, um, take that time to really develop something new. I know people think this is the apocalypse and the world is gonna end. I personally don't believe that. I believe that this is a good check and balance time. I think it's a good time for us to really focus on what's important in life and to maybe shed ourselves of some of the unnecessary stuff. Like I find that when you sit still, it is the hardest thing to do, right? Like it's the most challenging thing to do is to just sit still. But it's also one of the most beneficial times that you can take um, in life is to just say, you know what, I'm going to unplug and I'm going to focus on me and focus on what's really important. So I hope that you guys are taking this time to do that. I am. I have been working. Look, I'm like looking at emails as we speak. So <laughs> I've been working from home um, and also at the same time, kind of refreshing my space. I, you know, added some florals and um, also it's a great time to start looking at your spring wardrobe. So I went into my closet and kind of like shifted a little bit. Like it's still freezing here in Chicago. So no way am I going to be wearing shorts anytime soon. However, right now there's a lot of companies that are having online sales, which is a bonus. Um, so I've basically created a checklist of what I need, what I know I'm going to want for next season. So, um, hold on guys. Kira's talking to me. What'd you say? Oh, wait, there's comments. I don't even know how to do this guys. Y'all know I'm bad at this. Wait, how do I get the, one day I'm going to become really good at live, but it just won't be today. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Okay, if you're commenting, guys, know that I'm not ignoring them. I just don't know how to make them show up on my phone. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if I did this on my laptop, it would have made more sense. Let's see. You guys can you guys see me like pressing buttons on the phone i don't know how to make the comments okay wait oh wait there we go wait i think i got this there we go oh my gosh there's comments <laughs> i'm 
so bad. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh. This is a great time to do meditation. I actually said yesterday and just did a little bit of yoga. So, oh, another update that I haven't shared with you guys over on YouTube is every day, every morning, I've been trying to have a more conscious day. And a part of that is waking up earlier and starting my day with a liter of hot water and lemon. And then I have been juicing for breakfast which is great. And if you haven't seen my juicing uh, routine, I'll quickly share it with you. So what I do on Sundays is I gather all of my fruit and vegetables that I'm gonna be using in my smoothies, and then I create individual Ziploc bags uh, using freezer bags, and I measure everything out. So I'll measure out like my spinach, my kale, my fruit, everything. And then I toss it in. Hey, Keish, how are you? I was hoping that you made it onto the live. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, are you feathering well? Oh, look, I've been looking for a nice grocery deal. Oh, so I actually just went to Mariano's to answer your question. I just went to Mariano's for the first time in Chicago and I had the most amazing experience. Yes, I'm so happy you made it too. I mean, seriously, cause I know you always support it. And so I was, I was hoping, this is so different, like popping up in the middle of the day and I wish I could do it more, but as you guys may or may not know, I do have a full-time job. So um, I'm typically working. So that's why I normally do lives later in the evening and um, as I was saying about my morning routine, so I started having a more conscious morning. And so I start with a liter of hot water and lemon, and then I have a juice for breakfast. And then also I've worked in 30 minutes of working out at home. And I have to say, after all the years of paying for gym memberships, paying for pri private trainers, I have found such a love and pre appreciation for working out at home. Like, it is nothing more calming, I think, than being able to be in my space and working out at my own pace. Um, I've been using the Nike training app. I don't know if any of you guys have tried that, but it's absolutely free. Like, it's absolutely free. And they have different uh, workouts from all levels on the app. And then I've also been doing some amazing workouts on YouTube, like just doing a search. And it's so weird, but I find that those throwback, like, Richard Simmons 80 style workout routines are the best. Like they're so entertaining. They're really high energy. And so I've been doing that and just like really enjoying it. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing to be a little bit more mindful. And I think it's important that even though we're staying at home and we're confined to our houses, you know, um, it's a good time to start that. Like start those routines that you really want to continue so with the Nike training app, there's all different types of um, there's all different types of routines. So you can do anything from yoga to um, like actual high energy, like weightlifting, anything you want. So what I personally have been doing is using their yoga routines and a lot of their um, like just general cardio routines. So I just have like a yoga mat and I have a couple of blocks that I use to help support me, especially being um, a plus size woman, I guess. I don't know, curvier girl. Um, I find that doing yoga, I need to have those pillows in the blocks just to support, you know, like maybe I need to arch my back a certain way or position my hips a certain way. So that's what I've been using at home and it, and it works out really well. There's a couple of other really good YouTubers that I've also found that do yoga. Um, one of which is a curvier girl, which is nice because I think she kind of understands like how my body moves. Um, and with that being said, I will share those with you guys. If you're interested in knowing more about like my morning routine and maybe the workout part or how I prep my smoothies for the week to make sure that I always have smoothies ready to go, let me know down in the comments and I absolutely will bring you guys more into my morning routine, my life routine really. Um, I love that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I definitely will do that. If that's something you guys are interested in, for sure, just let me know. You know, I'm an open book, pretty much. I will 
talk and share pretty much anything if you guys ask really nicely. No, I'm just joking. Um, what else? So tell me, what are you guys doing? Like, who's working? Who's still at work? And then who's staying home? Let me know in the comments. Just drop a comment real quick and let me say, say home or work. I know I've spoken to a couple people on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me. It's at Candy's Land. Um, I've been keeping up with people, you know, on Instagram. And you guys, I know that you guys are all over the place. Okay, so you're home. I'm home. Are you home working? Or are you home, like, just home? Um, I know a couple people are like in essential positions where they just can't not work, so they had to go in. Um, a lot of nurses out there, you know, uh, officers. Actually, I actually have a, one friend, Insta friend, and she works with like a cement company, but it's a cement company that does like government contracts or something. So with that being said, she had to go in, um, but they're keeping them distance. They're keeping, you know, some room apart from each other, each other, which is great because sometimes you just don't have the option to work from home. And I, and I get that. Look, there goes my working from home, my emails. <laughs> More emails. Actually, it hasn't been too bad. I'm, I'm very thankful. My company is amazing and they're really taking care of us and putting the people first, which is so good and so important. Um, Keish, so are you working from home or are you just home right now? And if you are working from home, if, you know, this is the interesting question. How long do you guys think this is going to last? Like, I've heard from friends who think that this is going to be something that's going to go until the summer, where we're going to be in this kind of semi-quarantine space. And then some are like, oh, you know, maybe three weeks, we should be back up and running. So what do you think? Oh, you want to do some cooking videos? Absolutely. I would love to do some cooking. I actually love cooking with you guys. You know this. So your girl can cook and she she's ready. So I know there's others on this video. I just want to hear from you guys. What, what do you think the timeline back to work is going to be? Working from home. Okay. And you're not sure. Yeah. Yeah. So do they have you set up like where... So like my company has decided to ship out external monitors to everybody which is amazing so we're all gonna be set up um the same way we'll be in the office which is great i think it'll take a few weeks like three okay i agree i think i think once we get to that three week four weeks what's that like the second week of april i feel like things are gonna be back not to normal i definitely feel like this is gonna shift things in the way that we do business in the way that we do life um but I think it's good. I think it's also, you know, one of the things that I think this opportunity is going to do for us is it's going to filter out the unnecessary stuff. It's going to filter out the fluff. Was it necessary to do a conference call or could we have fixed it by email? Was it necessary to do a conference or is this something we could have done with a video call? Like, is it necessary to do things the way that we do them every day? just because, or, you know, are we really benefiting from this? So I think this is going to be an opportunity to do that. And I also feel like people are also going to be a little bit more in touch with themselves after this. Like, I think this is going to be a period of awakening for a lot of people. Like, you know, do I even like who I am, how I live my life? What's important to me? I think that is going to also be a question that's going to be answered during this time where you have no choice but to spend time with yourself or whoever lives in your house, you know? So I think that's good. I think that's a good thing. I think it's it's important for us to be more mindful. Um, what else? I Oh, sorry, guys. Excuse me. Whew. I had everything bagel. I probably should not have had that. And I probably shouldn't have shared that with you. But it's all good. Um, so what's coming up on the channel? Because I know at the end of the day, you guys want to know about fashion. You want to know about beauty. You want to know about travel, which we can't travel. So that's pretty much non-existent right now. But, um, and it's funny because I had a trip planned to Florida and I was going to do all this real cute like swimsuit content for you guys, but Corona. So with that being said, um, I do have some goodies. Like things are about to get spring popping. I'm so corny. Like how do y'all tolerate this? <laughs> Um, so yes, we're about to have some fun for spring. Okay. So what's lined up? There is a few lookbooks that are coming out. 
and I want to try a different format. Like I love doing try-ons for you guys and I think that they're very informative and you benefit a lot from seeing the clothes and things like that. But I want to have a little bit more fun. I want to like do a little bit more styling, maybe show you guys how to wear things in multiple ways. We've done that once or twice and I think it's important that we do that again. And also I want to a brand. So I'll answer that one second. But um, one thing I also want to do that I think is really, really, really important, and it goes to the fact of sustainability, which is a topic that in the plus size community, we don't really get to have because really there's very few options for us. Like, um, interesting enough, I was having a conversation with someone and they were saying like, you shouldn't support fast fashion at all. Like, just don't. And I was like, I agree with you. Like fast fashion is not awesome. Like it's not good for our planet. It's not good for the people. However, in the plus size community, and I'm not making a stance on this, but I'm just being honest, I think, and I'm saying that in the plus size community, there's not a lot of brands that cater to plus size women. And you guys know that. So with that being said, if you took away the fast fashion brands, what would we be left with? It's sad, but it's the reality. So with that being said, um, what I do think we can do is we can be more mindful in the pieces that we purchase. So I am going to make it a focus, and I hope that you guys enjoy this, but my focus is really going to be building essential wardrobes. So we are going to be focusing my channel. I would love to do this more is showing you guys how to create the perfect wardrobe. That's not going to just last for two weeks. That's not going to last for a couple of months, but things that you're going to be able to take from season to season to season and really get that what your, you know, the wear out of the clothes. Like how can I style this one shirt? Like today I have on this really fabulous, like striped shirt from Eloquy. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see. But this shirt is super cute, and though it's f a fun pattern, it's very classic. So I could take this and rock it with like a black business suit. I could totally rock this with a black business suit, and it'd be awesome. Thank you. Um, it'll be d featured in the haul coming up. But um, so yeah, so like this shirt, you could rock this with a black business suit, or you could rock it with a pink leather moto, which is what I had on earlier. Let me show you. <laughs> Hold on. So you could take like this really classic black and white and pair it next to like this pink and it's gorgeous, right? Pop on a pink lip, super cute. You can go out with the girls. You could dress it, you know, up with a black pencil skirt for a date night. So I wanna be able to focus on things like that on the channel and not just showing you clothes. I wanna show you how to build an essential wardrobe. So that way you never have to say, I don't have anything to wear. You can always feel fabulous in everything that you have on. Um, that's my focus. So with that being said, the brands that I'm going to be partnering with going forward, you will see a lot of that. Like I want to show you brands that I know will be there for you when you need that essential piece. And, um, and keeping it trendy, keeping it fun, keeping it hot, you know, of course. But, um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on. I will be recording videos later on today, tomorrow, throughout the weekend so that I can get back on track with content. It's just really hard. Like I know every video I feel like I'm now saying like I'm trying to get back on track. I'm trying to be back on track. And you guys have been super patient and the channel has been growing, which I know means you're sharing the content, you're liking the content, you're commenting, and all of those things help Google to say, you know what, this person's video is amazing. We should show it to more people. So I appreciate that. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate everything that you guys are doing and offering, you know, like sharing it. That's the biggest thing is sharing the video. If you like it, send it to someone else that you know will like it. That is how you help the channels to grow. That's how we get more featured content. That's how we get more sponsorships. Um, it's just by the channel continuing to grow, the video is doing well, and that all happens by you taking the time to share it. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who does that. Um, but yeah, so that's what's coming up. So we have uh, a few different spring lookbooks, which are going to be amazing. And um, 
and we have some um we'll do some cooking videos which will be great i would love to do like a spring accessories video for you guys like showing you what accessories are like a necessity i guess for spring so that is something we'll talk about um but yeah in general i want to do more lifestyle things with you guys and just kind of have moments like this where we just chit chat and um and i hope that you enjoy that because it's not just showing you fashion which fashion is ev is so important i won't say it's everything but it's very important how we look how we feel inside is way more important um and so i just want to make sure that when i am sharing content with you guys that it's relevant like right now i feel like with everything that's going on do you guys want to sit and talk about fashion all day maybe not but then there's some of you who want to have a break from the news and just have a conversation which is what i was hoping to do today on this video and i hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you to every single one of you who participated in the conversation and popped up popped on and said hi i love communicating with you guys so if you haven't already yeah thank you quiche um if you haven't already go follow me on instagram send me a dm let me know hey i'm part of your youtube crew um i would love to hear from you guys i just want to be more of a community where we both can talk back and forth and we can support each other through everything that's going on in the world and everything that will come up like this isn't the end for us guys we got so much life to live and i think this is just a lesson a lesson for us all to take a step back and really really determine what's important so with that being said i won't keep you guys i love you and most importantly go live life out loud in your house <laughs> and then come back and tell your girl all about it bye guys yes you have a blessed day say stay healthy most importantly okay girl all right